Okay guys, our learning target for today is I can subtract three digit numbers within 1000 using the constant difference and adjust one number strategies. So we're going to show examples of both, but remember when we're choosing which strategy to use, we're kind of basing it off of the numbers that we're looking at here. So you want to choose the best strategy for the numbers that you're given in your problem. So with the constant difference strategy, you're going to want to use this when you can tell that your numbers are going to require to regroup and you want to make them a little easier to solve and try to avoid that regrouping. So if I look at 456 minus 138, I know that I'm going to have to regroup in my ones place because this eight is larger than the six in the ones place over here. So to avoid regrouping, I'm going to change the numbers to make them easier to work with. So when you're using the constant difference strategy, you're trying to keep the, the distance between the two numbers the same. And to do that, you when you're making adjustments, you're going to make adjustments to both sides. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I want 138 to be easier to work with and get rid of this eight in the ones place. So to do that, I'm going to try to make this 138 140 by adding two. And because we're keeping it constant, I'm also gonna add two to the 456. So 456 plus two is 458, still subtracting, 138 plus two. So that's 140. So now I don't have to worry about any regrouping. So I'm gonna keep the 458 the same now I have minus 140, and I'm just going to go ahead and break that 140 into 100, and then four tens, which is 40. And I don't have anything in my ones place. So if you think about place value, 140 is really 100 plus 40. So 458 minus 100 will give me 358. Okay, so I've used the 100. Then my 358 minus 40, I'm gonna keep my hundreds place the same because I, I'm not taking anything away there. And I'm gonna keep my ones place the same because I'm not keeping anything, um, taking anything away there. So I'm only looking at subtracting the 50 minus the 40. So I'm gonna be 300, five minus four would be one, and then eight stays the same. So my difference to this problem, my answer here, is going to be 318. Okay, so let's look at another example of that. So I have 341 minus 234. Again, I don't want to have to regroup. I've got one here and I don't have enough ones to take away the four that I would need to take away. So to get this to be a friendlier number, I'm going to try to get it up to 240. And to do that, I know that I'm going to need six more to get 234 up to 240. And remember, we're going to keep it constant, so we're going to do the same thing to both numbers. So 341 plus 6 would give you 347. Still going to subtract. 234 plus 6 would be 240. And so those numbers are much easier to work with. So just like in our previous problem, I know that I can think about the place value here and break decompose 240 into 200 and then the 40, the four tens. Again, I have no ones. So now I'm going to do 347 minus the 200. And I know that 300s minus 200s is going to leave me with 100. And then my 47 is going to stay the same because I don't have anything to take away in my tens or my ones place. So now I have 147 and I need to take away 40. And when I subtract here, I'm going to keep my hundreds place the same because there's no hundreds to take away. And I'm going to have four tens minus another four tens, which is going to leave me with zero. And that's okay, but I just have to make sure that I put it um, a placeholder there as a zero. And then my seven is going to stay the same because I'm not taking away any ones. So my difference here is going to be 107. So remember, whatever you do to make one number more friendly, you're also going to do that same thing to the other number because you want to keep it constant. Okay, so our next strategy is similar, but this time we're only going to be adjusting one of our numbers. So unlike the constant difference strategy, only one of your numbers is going to be changing. So it's the same idea that you don't want to have to regroup and you want to make your numbers more friendly to work with. So in 526, 
minus 117. I don't want to have to take away 7 from 6 because that's going to cause me to regroup. So I'm going to try to get this to a more friendly number, and we're going to use 120 as that friendly number. So I know that to get 117 to 120, I would need three more. So I'm going to add three. But in this um, strategy, the adjust one number strategy, the 526 is staying the same. You're not making any changes to that number. Okay, so just like we did before, we're going to think about the place value here of 120 being 100 and 2 tens or 20. So I'm going to have my 526 minus 100. If I had 500s and I take away 100, that leaves me with 400s. And then my 26 is going to stay the same because I'm not taking away any 10s or 1s. Okay. So then my 426 minus 20, okay. not taking away any 100s, so those are going to stay the same. 2 10s minus 2 10s is going to leave me with no 10s, so 0 for my placeholder. And then 6 1s minus no 1s, I'm going to keep my 6 1s the same. Now, remember that we added 3 to make the number more friendly. So we have to do that exact same thing to the difference that we find here to make up for that 3 that we added. So 406 plus 3 would give you 409. So our difference to this problem is 409. Okay, let's look at one last example. And with the adjust one number strategy, you can add to change one number or you can subtract to change one of the numbers. So here I have 713 minus 204. And I know that this four is gonna cause me to regroup because I would have more numbers in the one, more ones in my ones place than I have um, able to take away. So in this case, I think it's gonna be easiest to make this number into 200 to make it more friendly because that's a number I know that I can subtract pretty easily. So to get down to 200, I would have to subtract four to give me 200. So I know that I'm not going to change my 713, and this minus 4 here would give me 200, okay? And I know that if I have 700s and I take away 200s, I have 500s left, and then my 13 is going to stay the same because I'm not taking away any 10s or any 1s, okay? So now I have 513, but remember you adjusted the number by subtracting 4. So you have to subtract four here as well, okay? So 513 minus four, I'm gonna run into the issue of regrouping here because I have four ones, but only three ones that I could um, use to take away. So I'm gonna decompose four into one and three. I know that one plus three would make four. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the 513 minus three, and that's gonna give me 500 10. Now if I think about 510 and I know that I need to subtract 1, subtracting 1 is the same as going backwards on a number line one place. So what number comes right before 510 on a number line? And that's actually going to be 509. Okay, so your difference here is going to be 509. So thinking back to our learning target for today, I can subtract three digit numbers within a thousand using the constant difference and adjust one number strategies. Now you will try some on your own. If you need extra support, please watch the video again and stop and rewatch as needed. If you still need support, please reach out to your teacher.